So I'm laying here in bed. I just a little bit ago put up my first vlog and now I'm thinking about it and I watched the video while I was editing it and then I watched it once or twice once I posted it and I've decided I shouldn't do that. I'm gonna just watch it while I edit it, post it, and then that's it. I won't watch it until way later down the road. And actually, it's better if nobody watches it right now. Because <laughs> at some point, maybe this channel will have a million subscribers or something. Or whatever. I'll have actual interesting vlogs. Things that are actually like, well, that, you know, things that are actually... <laughs> Sunny. Okay, hey buddy. Or I'll just have interesting content in general. And people can go back and look at this and be like, Whoa, dude, this guy used to live in an RV. I don't know, the sun's coming up though. So, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> You're crushing me, dude. <laughs> Alright, good night. The whole reason that I wanted to say anything before was because by overthinking it, I'm thinking about all the things I should have said and included when and while I was talking in the vlog, and it's just like my brain is going a million miles an hour, and there's all these things I'm leaving out and not including. I don't want to have to think about all that stuff. I just want to just kind of just let it just flow, you know? Try to be more mindful in the future. Just living in the moment, you know? And everything's kind of transitional. This is one moment in time in my life. Oh, man, Sonny, your hair is all over me. I really need to go to sleep. All right, good night for real. <laughs> Your breath stings so bad, dude. So, I'm not gonna be vlogging like every day, you know. But I do want to make it like a regular thing. I'll do and. I just, I don't want to be constantly recording everything because, and I just don't want to be behind my screen all the time. These vlogs aren't going to, like, encapsulate my entire life. I don't, I just, I don't need to document everything. Just whenever I feel like it, I'll, you know, I'll hit record, I'll say some words, I'll record what I'm doing at that moment, whatever, you know? doesn't have to be a thing. I guess while I'm making these, I'm going to be saying the word I a lot, and me, because that's, that's what I'm working on right now, is myself. And if you don't want to hear me talking about me, then you don't have to watch this. At some point, I would like to say the word we a lot more, because I do want to reach out to people. It would be nice to be part of a community. And right now, I don't feel I have that much to offer a community, which is why I'm working on me. At some point, I'll fill my glass, and I'll be able to pour it into other people's glasses. But right now, my focus is me, and I'm just going to make this vlog to help myself work through that. <laughs> hey, you can come along for the ride. I mean, we are, you know, on our own journeys, but we could share in each other's journeys. Um, that's what life's all about. Different people coming together, making things happen, creating things, creating communities, creating businesses, creating families. That's what I'm all about, but I don't want to do any of that until I'm ready. This is about the RV. This is about my life currently. It's about the future. So anyways, I got a bunch of um, storage bins today. I'm gonna start organizing a little bit, putting things away in cupboards. A lot of my stuff right now is actually in cupboards. There's a closet right there. A lot of my stuff is in there. There's stuff underneath these seats. There's cupboards under there. And then there's cupboards up above everywhere. I could store stuff underneath the couch, which Actually, is a futon, but um, since I put the shelf here, I can't pull that out into a bed. But hey, VHS tapes, it's, it's important. I'm trying to eliminate all the cardboard boxes that I have away in storage because stuff has been getting water damaged, things get moldy, and I just want to have everything in plastic containers sealed away so I don't have to worry about it and everything is safe and organized, put away in places that are easy to access. I can't have all my stuff just sitting on these chairs all the time like this. I have a hard time sitting here to eat, so it would have been a lot smarter to make a bookshelf rather than a shelf for outdated video technology. But hey, I, uh, you know, to each his own. Another man's trash. This one, I have a few books out of time that I'm reading. I have the rest in a container. I can pull that container out, look through it, switch the books around, whatever. But I just have a lot of random stuff that I don't want to let go. I'm like, this is a really long, boring story to explain something simple. I have all this shit that I got to put in some containers and put away. <laughs> got this today from the dollar store, too. That's fancy, dude. Got a couple of these today, too. So I don't have to keep wasting um, garbage bags all the time for my laundry. And then I'm going to start putting my, my clean clothes in these storage containers that I got also. Ideally, I would have, like, drawers or something. For now, I'm just going to have stackable containers. It's fine. Yeah, so I've got five of these 58 quarts. So, like, 14 and a half gallon containers with lids. Should be pretty good, hopefully. I thought I got two bunches of bananas, but I ended up getting two bananas. 
when I first hooked this thing up to electricity, my, my fridge worked great. Freezer worked. Then after a while, it just stopped working. Not sure what it is. Could be like a coolant leak or something. Um, tried using it electrically. You can actually cool it with propane too, which I've tried that. That didn't work. It might be a part needs to be replaced, but it might be the whole thing needs to be replaced. I'm not sure. And I haven't had the money to really think about it. So I'm not worried about it right now. Right now, my refrigerator is basically just a glorified cupboard. <laughs> I have like a tote outside with a bunch of food in it underneath the RV in the snow so it stays cold. Trying to make some like lo-fi beats, you know. I I've done a few like attempts, and they didn't. They haven't turned out so great. This one, I think, is, I'm I'm digging this. It needs some work. It's pretty weird. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's 5:15 a.m. I'm about to try to go to bed in a minute. I was just finishing up on that track. I'm starting to get ear fatigue. I'll work on it more later when I wake up, probably. Listening to things in your headphones is it's different than playing it back on your phone. A lot of times, people are gonna be listening to your music on their phone. It could sound great in the headphones, and then you uh, check it out on your phone speaker, and all of a sudden, everything's off. Like, all the levels are not right, and things are just all over the place, and you have to, like, compensate for that. So you gotta find a balance in between something sounding good on your phone and sounding good in speakers. You gotta try in all kinds of different speakers. Crappy speakers, car speakers, good speakers, TVs, phones, whatever, man. Try it in everything you can, because it's gonna sound different. You wanna keep that in mind when you're mastering and EQing and stuff because people are going to be listening to it on all kinds of different things. That's something I used to not really take into consideration when I was doing a mix. I would just make it sound good in headphones. I'd send it to somebody and they'd be like, listen to it with headphones. I'm not going to send it to you if you don't listen to it on your phone speaker. But now I've gotten to the point where I don't care what you listen to it on because I've already listened to it on my phone and if it doesn't sound good, it doesn't sound good. Whatever. I can only do so much with what I'm working with. I only have so much, uh, so much equipment here and I don't have monitors so it's just working with headphones working with my phone speaker. It is what it is for now. At some point, I'd like to get, you know, a good studio set up. I'd like to get a means of recording my electric guitar. I don't have one right this second. My seven string electric doesn't have any strings. To top it off, I don't have an interface to plug it into the computer at the moment. I had this thing for years and then it took a crap on me, it stopped working. I've been thinking about trying to take it apart and just check the connections with the USB because sometimes these things will crap out on you. I've had that happen with like keyboards and stuff. A matter of going in and just touching up the connections and it works. If I can't fix it, I'll have to get something else at some point because i'm tired of recording stuff with acoustic guitars all the time i don't really listen to that much acoustic music i just record using an acoustic guitar because that's what i have it's not the kind of music i would be making making music has always just been a hobby like it is for most people but i've never taken it like super seriously to the point where like that's my main area of focus i'm kind of a generalist when it comes to things i have a large array of interests and hobbies and skills none of them are very like super honed in i focus on one thing at a time usually actually Actually, I'll spend a day doing something and the next day I'll spend a day doing something else. Where am I going with this? Am I gonna use any of this? That's what a vlog is, isn't it? Anyways, I'm tired. I've been really tired. I didn't sleep very much. About to crash off of, you know, Red Bull, so. I gotta say, Walmart's pretty dope. When you shop online and go pick up your order, sometimes they'll throw in like a little bag with treats and stuff. Got a granola bar and like an energy bar, some candy. <laughs> it's like it's Halloween. Eating right before you go to bed. Not a good habit. I gotta clean my mirror, dude. I guess I'll do that soon. I do that when I wake up. If I remember, I'll remember because I'll just look at it and I'll be like, man, I need to clean this goddamn mirror. I'm not doing it right now, though. I'll get to it. Good boy. Good boy, Sonny. There's there's so much going on in the world. There's so much going on in the country, and here I am, this tiny little person, in this RV with time to think about these tiny little things that don't matter. I have time to reflect on my puny existence. I'm, I'm grateful for what I have, for having a place to live, for having electricity, for having sunny. My family, there's so many people that have things so much worse, and they're struggling with their own struggles, and 
I'm struggling with mine, but I'm lucky in so many ways. I need to take a step back and appreciate everything that I have. How lucky I am, how blessed I, I guess I am. Everything can always be so much worse. I've, I've spent a long time trying to avoid the world. Running from my fears. Running from responsibilities. I'm glad I have this time at this point in my life right now to just iron out the kinks, you know? Because locally, in my environment, things are moving pretty slow. Things are pretty calm. Internally, sometimes it doesn't feel that way. I'm learning how to just slow down and, and step back and look at things from all angles. I, I don't know what I gotta do. <laughs> but something. I can't keep letting days be wasted, doing nothing, falling backwards. I, I don't want to be afraid of the world. I don't want to be afraid of myself. don't want to be a hermit for the rest of my life. But it's all just temporary. I don't want to be an angry person, or a fearful person, or an ignorant person. Can't wait until a day comes where I can talk about other things that are more important than myself. But I can't get behind any cause until I feel comfortable in my skin. I'm pretty close. Why should I, why would I post this for everyone to see? <laughs> Maybe I won't share this. Maybe I'll keep this for myself. I just don't have very many people to talk to right now. I used to feel so alone. And I couldn't deal with loneliness. Now I love it. I prefer it. But it's not going to last forever. It's going to be alright. Yeah, so I just woke up a little bit ago. It's after 8 p.m. I'm going to stay up all night, and then I'll stay up all day tomorrow, and I'm going to try to get on a good schedule. I'll be awake during the day like a normal person. My plan for the night is to finish up this lo-fi track, edit this vlog. I'm going to work on the animation for my music video for a song called The Colony, and then I'll just meditate for a while and come out feeling a lot better. I don't have, like, an outro for my vlogs. Everybody's got, like, these peace out kind of things. I don't know what I'm going to say at the end or the beginning. I, I'm still I'm so new at this. These are going to be like like relics of something that this thing can end up becoming, considering this is only the second one. Who knows where I'll be or what will be happening in the future. The end.